welcome back to my channel uh, today I would like to do something very special a uh, combination of colors that I've never tried before and I wanted it to be like joyful I want it to be tropical you know when you dance reggae on the beach uh, you know something like very fun and sassy and yeah so <laughs> uh, I have a lot of colors here to show you and uh, well, I think it's going to be a, a happy moment here because um, today outside is really a bad day. It's it's rainy, it's cold, and, and you know, sometimes just before Christmas, we need a little bit of a oomph, and um, that's what I wanted to do today. So it's going to be probably a fantasy pour, maybe a straight pour with a little twitch, um, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. So, um, I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and I'll bring you back on the canvas. I'm going to show you my colors. So see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, today we're going to work on a 20 by 24 canvas, uh, heavy duty canvas, an inch and a half, uh, deep. Uh, as you can see, take the back and put my hooks in and of course I sprayed the canvas so it's gonna be a little bit tighter okay so today for our colors we're going to start off with golden's pearl iridescent This is Payne's Gray from Pebeo Studios. This color is uh, a combination of two colors. I had a coral, but it was too light. So I put a little bit more orange in it. So it, it looks more like the color, the coral that I want. Okay. And now I am going to try for the first time uh, the color shift. And this is a blue flash. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a color shift in it. And uh, the shift is, when you look at it, it's blue, but it it's like pinkish on the other side. Okay, and this one is green flash. And it has a little bit of twitch of a gold inside. This is bright pink, and I had a left of, let's say, about an ounce of tourmaline, pink tourmaline. So I put it inside, and uh, today all my colors uh, were, are mixed, uh, one part paint and one part Floetrol. And then we have another color shift color here, is uh, Aqua Bright. This is aqua, but it shifts to a bluish. It's really pretty. I love that color too. And the next color, dioxazine purple, mixed with violet. Because sometimes dioxazine purple is a little bit too dark for me. And I just added violet in it. Okay. And this is bright gold. Uh, this is Golden's Bright Gold. Uh, of course, when you when we talk about Golden's paints, uh, the heavy body, we don't put as much as uh, paint in the flow trawl. But I just wanted my consistency to be just like the others. Leaves a little bound on the mound and then disappears. And the sticks, all of the sticks can stand straight in the cut. So I have nine colors in total. Uh, I hope it's not going to be too muddy. Uh, I'm telling you guys, this is really a first time for me. So I'll put on my gloves. And for this size canvas, we need about 17 ounces of paint. So this is a 16 ounce up to here so I could fill it up 
And here I have a flow extender. These are my drips that I catch uh, on my table when I'm done with a painting. Uh, there's no need to waste good paint. So this could be my flow extender. And it's a really pretty color, let me tell you. Okay then, so I'm going to start off to put a little bit of white in here. A little bit of pearl, I mean. Just a little bit, just to cover the bottom, well, a little bit more, just to cover a little bit, bottom of the cup. And then I'm going to put the bright gold. Just a little bit. You know, when you build up a cup, it's important to think that the first things, the first colors that you put in the cup will be the last one on your canvas. So, probably going to be the center. Okay, next to that violet, I think the coral will be nice. See that? It sank right in, in there. I did not want to do a dirty cup. Well, we're going to see what's going to happen now. See, it's sinking again. Hmm. I'm wondering if my consistency is good. Okay, wait a second here. I'll go back to the violet. really full now. I'll put this aside. Okay, now I'm going to put a puddle of gold right in the middle here. that you can't see right now, but I'm just layering it a little bit, just to put a little bit bigger. Okay, now that we have our pillow,
Let's pour this beauty here. I love the colors though. It's really tropical. Okay, this is pretty. I love what's going on here. All those beautiful lines here. We're having a little bit of cell actions here. Okay, let's torch this baby. think I'm going to wreck this baby here. As you can see, I was not prepared to wreck, but uh, I think it's going to be beautiful to wreck it. So I have this beautiful little comb here. Yeah. Let's do another one here. And that's it. We're going to leave this alone. Now we're going to put my flow extender around.
Okay. I think I'm going to torch it once again because there's a lot of bear bubbles in here. Since I just mixed my colors a few minutes ago. There's a lot of cell action here. Even in the flow extender, there's a lot of bubbles. That's funny. Okay. Let's move this baby. Wow, I did not expect this at all. <laughs> hey, wow, this is really something. Okay, are there some parts that I should tilt again? Oh, wow. I think I could get a, rid of, a little bit of that. Not too much because I like it, but it seems like an alligator had passed by. So maybe just 
takes a little bit off of that green flash over there. Just a little bit. Bring back the weight of the paint to the center. You know what, guys? I think that I'm not touching this anymore. I am really loving this piece. Wow. All those beautiful colors together and all those sounds, it's really nice. Okay, well, let's give it another torch. Check out my corners. Everything's covered here, I think. Yeah. Let's turn this. Almost over here and over here. We're missing a little bit. Just a little bit on the corners here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's torch just one more time. Because we're not moving it anymore. I'm going to bring you in so you can see all this beauty. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we are for a beautiful close-up here. We can see all those lines, the colors that I poured. Uh, the coral, I thought that sank. It's right here next to the Payne's Gray, the pink tourmaline. Look at all those beautiful cells. Isn't that pretty, the green just beside the Payne's Gray? Wow, I'm loving this piece. <laughs> this is actually really beautiful really colorful brings me joy that was the point look at all those beautiful mm, i don't know if you can see but this color shifts see it goes darker more pinkish oh man this is gorgeous Oh, I hope you like it too. Um, give me your comments. And if you like it, put a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, if you need to ask me any question or inquiries, uh, you can reach me at manonpetitart at gmail.com. And of course, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. 
at Manon Petit Art. So, don't be shy. Uh, I will show you the dry results. And uh, hopefully this dries like this. It's really pretty. So, I really want to thank you again, guys, to be there. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm so happy to see every day I have new subscribers. And uh, hopefully it's going to keep on growing because uh, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing here. So, um, thank you again. Uh, it means the world to me. And I really love it when you leave comments uh, so I can answer to your comments. I could get back on your comments. And, uh, well, that's it. So, I will show you when it's dry. Okay, guys. So, this is it a few days later. Completely dry. Um, I'm going to call this uh, Tropical Breeze. Because uh, I just love the tropical colors there in this painting. It's really, uh, I don't know, it makes me happy. Um, I'm going to go a close-up for you. So you can see, you see the, the slicing here? Uh, it's very, very, very shimmery. And uh, it looks like silver, but actually it's the pearl that was inside. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful here? And all those cells here. <laughs> it's really, really nice. I love all those lines. It's really lovely. So um, I hope you like it as much as I do, because uh, really, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I'm I'm in love with this piece. So um, I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers, and uh, for you, the new viewers. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you want to reach for me, I'm on uh, Instagram and Facebook at Manon Petit Art. And you can always reach me by mail at Manon Petit Art at gmail.com. So thank you again. And till the next time, au revoir.